Oh, I have to start this video on a little bit of a sad note because I'm out of tea and I don't want to go make some more. I want to I want to do this review. So, I'm a little bit torn. So, I hope I hope <laughs> hope that doesn't express itself through through what I'm trying to say. Anyway, today I've got AI Sensei loaded up here with a game that I just played no less finished maybe, I don't know, half an hour ago on Taijim. Uh, it's around the 5 down level on Taijim. And again, I say around because Taijim ranks are uh, <laughs> like uh, not not real not real equivalent to lots of other <laughs> lots of other servers. Um, but anyway, I've got this game loaded, and one of the nice things about our friends at AI Sensei is they've programmed a quiz mode, which is really cool. And I've got a quiz set up from the game I just played, so I thought we would go through this quiz together to go through my mistakes in the game. And after the quiz, I will I will just sort of go through the game in its entirety and just tell you the general story of the game. Um, but I think I think the best way to learn is to actually just sort of do some of these quiz problems um, to really refine your play, um, which is cool. So anyway, in this game, I am black, and you can see a few things have happened. Actually, in my in my full story of the game, I want to talk about the decisions that were made at the bottom um, to result in this sort of. Uh, <laughs> formation where, you know, I have a wall here and a wall here and white has a group in between. Um, overall, this is still a good position for black. Like, black is winning uh, this game. Basically, how this game goes, it starts out even, of course. It trends in black's direction until the mid-game where I make a, a blunder or two, actually really like three or maybe three blunders in a row, uh, to bring the game back to even. And then uh, I'll I'll leave the result to be uh, unspoiled until the end. So if you really want to know how the game turns out, you gotta finish watching the video. But anyway, in this position, White just plays this move. Very daring move, trying to make some use of the Aji here with these two stones, and this one little stone here. And again, you know, my corner is pretty solid prior to this move, but after this move, White can actually now invade. And so the question is, what do you do as Black? And there's a couple thoughts in my mind that when I played the move, um, the first, first of which was, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm playing, I'm playing this game to basically get some thickness, right? That's kind of in, in my mind up until this point. And with that thickness, I haven't really done anything with it, so to speak, but I also feel like white has so few prospects for territory, right? White's only real prospect here is over here. At my mindset in this point of the game, my, my strategy switches and it's like, look, white's potential is so small that all I have to do is take some points, basically, and I'll have an easy game while white is struggling on the rest of the board. And so in the game, I played this move. This is very passive. This is, I don't know what number move this is. I wish it gave you, I told you the move number on this little, um, I don't know, each quiz problem. But in the game, I tell you I play here. But obviously, that's not the right answer because otherwise it wouldn't be a quiz problem. So the question is, where should black play to make use of this thickness and, you know, just get the best result? And so I'll give you one second to think about it and then tell you that I'm pretty sure the answer is here. <laughs> and indeed. And so in this case, it shows me the move that I played and right here. And, and this is, I, I might have set this up a little bit too specifically. Obviously, when you have a lot of thickness, you need to attack, right? You need to use the thickness. And if you use your thickness by making territory, you're doing it wrong. If you use your thickness to attack, then you're doing it right. And basically from this variation... Um, no matter, even if white takes the entire corner, I'm going to get a huge moyo on the right, even if I let, just let white invade and play very simply, uh, and that's still very good for black. So anyway, this is just a very simple problem that I should be able to play correctly in a game when my opponent really, you know, overextends a little bit, plays a little bit too close to my thickness, you have to punish. You have to immediately turn the table and attack, and I didn't do that, and so I lost a few points here. Uh, let's go to the next problem. All right, this one. I can tell you in the game, I played here. And this is a really important shape point. And it's also, it's not sente, but it does actually threaten to uh, cut this stone off, the stone that white just played. And so I kind of felt like I had momentum here. Um, this black group, even though it's not, 
I mean, it, white can't attack it. Let's put it that way, right? This black group is always alive. If white takes the corner, I have this move. So this group is pretty indestructible. I keep reading out sequences over here and see there's some possibility for Aji to do meaner things, starting with this cut. Um, so I want to preserve that. But at the same time, I can't play it right now. It doesn't really work after this white move. So I feel like I need one little extra move to activate this Aji and do something. And where am I going to get that Aji from? Well, I'm going to help out this center group, right? And by giving it more liberties, it really takes command of the whole center. In my mind, this felt like a very strong move to keep the momentum and keep building my game plan. The problem is that it doesn't really punish White's play over here. Remember when White, and this is just the previous move, of course, White played here and I played this very passive move. Well, White's next move, or one of White's next moves, I forgot the exact sequence, was to jump up with it, to try to activate this Aji, even though I had played this move, right? White has no business jumping up here right now. Um, I'm way too thick. White has to be much more careful. So I'm going to assume that the AI would like me to play somewhere over here. I think normally I'd want to play high, uh, but I bet low is, yes, is actually correct. Um, I like high just because it feels like it links up. Like it, high has a very good feeling to me because it helps to, um, sort of defend the center. Uh, but in this case, we just need to make sure white can't settle easily. And so you need to play low to unseat the white stones. All right, good. We're doing good. Here's a little bit later on in the game. You can see how this develops. I did indeed cut out this white stone. Uh, I didn't play over here first, so you can see that white actually got the base. White made a few more inroads on the right, actually building a territory on my side of the board. And in, in practice, this I'm fine with this. Like, this is still a winning position for black, even though this was my side of the board. Um, and white got all these stones over here. They're all so low, right? Third line, second line, third line, third line. Technically, white does have a fifth line stone, but... That's not enough. White can eat, or black can easily reduce or invade. So anyway, this is this is even though this looks like it's good for white, it's really not that good. It's too low. It's too pessimistic, and white can do this, I suppose, if white has big potential anywhere else on this board. And you can see white just doesn't, right? Even if even if white gets all the end game here, there's maybe ten points here. Uh, there's a cut here for maybe a, a few more points, but really not that much because again, this is pretty strong. Uh, the top is looking very black at this point. White has to work very hard to make something happen here. White actually has a stick with a bunch of holes and defects to attack. Um, so in fact, this is white's biggest chunk of territory. And it's not even perfect yet, right? White, black can invade, reduce, like I said, and really turn this into a fairly small group without much uh, effort. Uh, so anyway, in the game, let's see, do I remember where I played? I played, oh yeah, I, I just made shape. I made this live shape here and I played here. Uh, all right, it's a problem, so that means it's wrong. I'm going to assume that, yeah, we should have made this exchange. I didn't make this exchange, I just played right away, just to basically say the situation is over. In this case, it's important, I think, it's, it's even more important than I, than I thought because of these defects, because I do want to attack this white stick. This is good timing to make sure white can't make an eye or even two eyes in the corner um, by, you know, playing here and getting this move and a move like this. That would... That would be sad. So I really do need to disrupt the shape. Even though it shorts my own liberties and weakens, white can't actually kill my group. And so that's the distinction. Once you have a group that can't be killed, you can make these exchanges. If black was in danger, you obviously don't want to short the liberties. But that's not the case here. All right, next problem. We're doing good. We're doing good. Are you guys getting all these? Oh, yeah, I remember this part of the game. This, this, I, I don't, I was... Yeah, this is a mistake. <laughs> I mean, intuitively in the game, I wanted to play here, but instead I just captured the stone. I had a little bit of stone capturing disease. And part of it was, you know, I read out the sequence. I was like, okay, if I capture the stone, white, of course, is going to Atari. I'm going to connect. White's going to play here and do this push to Suji, this, uh, I can't think of the name of it, the running to Suji, where you push the black stone into an area where white's just going to run out. And during the game, I thought, wait, if white just runs out like this, I don't care. Like, then I actually get to use this wall. It feels like I'm kind of strong on this side. I'll have captured a stone, so I'm pretty strong on this side. If white is just running out into the middle, who cares? Like, that's amazing. <laughs> so that's why I just took the stone. Of course, uh, if I just connect here, I am actually much more solidly threatening to seal white in. And white can't actually make two eyes in here. And that's that's really the important thing. White, this, this move lets white make one eye. This move lets white make... No eyes. Okay. <laughs> um, so I really, it's maybe a half eye. <laughs> um, so anyway, but my point, I think my point is the total number of eyes doesn't change a whole lot, right? 
This is white has one eye. <laughs> this is white has half an eye. And, and it's really a co-eye, so it's it's less than half an eye. We usually use we usually say half an eye to describe a situation where white can make an eye and goate. Uh, that's not a big difference. Half an eye versus one eye is not is not nearly the same or nearly the same difference as one eye versus two eyes. If this move prevented two eyes, then I think it would be good, um, or at least playable. And that's not the case here. And so I just need to I just need to connect with this move. And so in the game, I didn't take enough time to just figure out, oh, this is half, uh, like, some fraction of I versus one I. And I should just play there. Yep. This is my in in intuition, and I just, ah. You know, you know how it goes when you're playing Go, and you don't follow your plan. Oh, interesting. Oh, it says, uh, this is a mistake. Oh, of course, yeah. In, in the game, of course, I just followed through and took this stone. Um, in reality, should I just capture? I think I should just capture. Oh, no. Okay, I want something fancier. Okay, I assume this was sort of like me I capturing a stone here versus capturing a stone here. Totally thinking of it the whole wrong way. All right, this would be the shape point. Um, let's give it a try. Sure is. Again, you can kind of see it's the shape point. It's the center of one space jump away from three stones. Um, and it looks like white can run out this stone. Um, but... Black can also run out and sort of lean on this side, too. So, it seems very playable. Makes sense. All right, a little bit further, you can see I captured the stone. White indeed did, did this push to Suji, um, where white Atari'd my stone in here and then ran out as I ran out, and then jumped over here, jumped over this way. And at this point, I'm like, this seems fine. Like, where where is white going? <laughs> and again, this is my initial read, so many moves back. I was like, okay, if white wants to run, where is white going to go? I have stuff down here. I've got this. I've got this. And now, of course, there's weaknesses in each one of these areas. And that's really how white is going to live. Right? White is going to nudge in that direction, take a, take a free move because of some weakness I have, nudge in a different direction, take another free move, and so on, and eventually be able to either connect or live. And that's basically what's going to happen. Um, but here, let's see. What did I do in the game? In the game, I think I played here. And I still think that's a good move. <laughs> like, still looks good. What would it want me to do? Does it want me to cut immediately? That feels real wrong. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I, I don't, this is. This is actually, I still like my move, right? This, this move feels so big because, again, I'm eyeing this cut. And after this move, this stick is just a stick. I like my move. So what do we do when I when you like the AI move? Let's try it. This seems like the most severe thing. Nope. Okay. Oh, okay. It must have something to do with this Aji. Uh, is it thinking? Is it just yeah? It's just kill the Aji. Um, yeah. The problem. The problem, or one of the potential problems here, is that if white were to run out these two stones, I actually have to fight on two sides. I have to fight here with this group, or at least, you know, play an extra move to get an eye. And I have a stick that only has three liberties. So, all right, that's understandable. That's a nice defensive move, connecting all the stones. You know, it's also the kind of move I hate, because I still look at the situation like, oh yeah, I can lean over here, right? I can run out this black group, and um, of course, but then white attacks this, so. Yeah, AI, you're smarter than I am. Oh well. I still liked my move. All right. Uh, ooh, okay. This one. Yeah, so in the game I just disconnected and made sure that this white group wasn't connected uh, and I was alive. However, I bet this is a... Well, is it, does it want me to disconnect now? Oh, or does it still want me to kill Aji? No, if I kill Aji, then I'm, gonna, I'm actually in kind of big trouble here. What do you guys think? What do you think? White is trying to run out and connect. I mean, this is such a natural move. And that's what I played in game. I almost want to play it again and be like, AI, hey, no, this is a good move, you're wrong. But um, it has to be something with this group. All right, giving White another move makes me feel real sad. Let's just try it. Okay, it is. Yeah. Um, this move This move works. I'll show, maybe I'll, I'll go over this again when I go through the full game. Um, it works to basically help shore up this group while preserving white's weaknesses. And so that's good. 
All right, we'll play that out a little more and show you how that works. All right, next problem. Uh, over here, oh, okay. Uh, so this was much further along. You can see how this turned out. White did eventually get to live here. Um, but I also got compensated with even more strength in the center. Um, White did find time to connect over here. Uh, there's still some endgame Aji, though. Um, I mean, this move is the move to kill. What did I even play in the game? Oh, no, I, I played this. I just lived. Oh, this is interesting. Is it white? The AI wants me to do something before living. But what is it? Or did I play this? Maybe I played this. I'm pretty sure I lived. I must have. Is it this? Yeah, play this first. And then, whoops, sorry, I can't, I can't show the variation. If white plays there, then I can actually um, play here. So, so making this exchange first is big. Okay, pretty good. And, and I, have, I didn't really state this, but again, when I'm, we're looking at any one of these problems, I do challenge you to pause the video, try to see it, see it for yourself. Oh, this move, it didn't like my move. So at this point, after we made this exchange and white played here, I then played this move. Um, but what's interesting is it, the computer did not like it. Uh, so, obviously this is a shape move. Um, it might, it, it, before you play a, sh a real basic shape move like this, it's usually worth asking. Um, I'm real scared to play this. I don't really want to, this is the obvious move, but the problem with this one is that white might respond with this peep instead. So if I play here and then white peeps and I connect and then, you know, white has to, uh, I guess white, I assume white would push here, but I guess white has to fill in there. Anyway, I'm not sure if giving this, uh, this exchange for white is good. Um, let's just... This feels really ambitious. What if we just play the basic shape move? No. Oh, and yep, it's in this quadrant. It totally wants me to just play this. All right. Good job, AI. Just play all the asking moves in tempo. That's good timing. I still like my move, though. My move was good. <laughs> All right, here, I know this move was bad. Like, I know this one was bad. I just, it's its an intuitive shape thing, though. So in the game, I played here. And if you don't, if what black doesn't play here, right, this move is sente for white. Um, so if black does anything, white will hane here, and white actually threatens to capture because a shortage of liberties with a throw-in in this move. And that If black connects, the whole thing dies. So this move is just perfect sente for white. I know that it was bad. <laughs> it's not needed. Giving white one Sentehane here isn't really that big of a deal. So obviously I just need to jump out here. No? Here? No? Here? Yes. Okay. Well, pick pick your favorite jump out. Yeah, he likes this one. This one, is it good? I mean, it's hard. Like reading out this uh, this white disconnect move would take some effort uh, and some time. And I didn't want to do that, hence why I'd only make a one space jump there. But apparently that's the best move. All right. Here, uh, okay, I believe in the game. So I'm, I'm trying to set up this wedge, right? Or at least preserve this wedge. I played this move for a reason. I end up having a bamboo joint here. I think in the game I played here, which seems totally fine. <laughs> like this is pretty legit. Um. This one's more solid. Let's just, yeah. This one doesn't really give white much choice. This one gives white a lot of choices. Actually, this one, this one gives a little white. Yeah, this one, they both give white a lot of choices. This is actually lots of little, little pan fight, hand fighting reading. I'm not exactly sure the difference, actually. Um, because even if I play this one, it's not exactly like white can cut. Uh, if white cuts, like white just gives up the four stones. So, okay. All right, all right, last problem. Um, I gave up two stones here, and I think in the game, yeah, in the game I played this move to take this kind of in tempo. Um, it's not really needed. I should just go back here and kill this thing. It's the best killing move. Is it this one? This one? This one? Probably this one. Yep. All right, so we did okay. We did okay. That's actually kind of a, a passing grade. That's a nice D. We got a bronze trophy. Pretty good. Let's finish the quiz. 
Um, and here, let me tell you the story more of the game. You can see the, uh, here's, here's the graph. <laughs> Black just gets a huge advantage and then <laughs> loses it <laughs> over a series of blunders, I guess. And then gets it all back and then some. In the end, it, uh, you know, white resigned. We didn't make it to the, the, final, the final counting. Um, this looks like it puts black up somewhere around plus 60 or so. So very resignable. Uh, let's, let's again go through the story a little bit and explain a little bit more thinking. Oh yeah, this Joseki, White ended up playing this twice, and this is not a good, this is no longer a good Joseki. I've gone over this in other videos. Um, this is sort of the way to refute it, is for Black to play this. Um, the AI just thinks the White position is not good enough here. Um, basically Black was able to get a stable-ish group, and either, e either just totally 100% alive, basically, or take sente. And you can see that. Like this is this is enough to take sente. And notice white all of white stones are low. The corner is still kind of open. Um, I mean if if white were to attack this like three or four moves in a row um, from the outside that is like maybe there's other fight here, other fight here, other fight here and white's getting walls all around this neighborhood. Black still has this move to to really muck up the corner and just fight a co and make it live in co. So again, all these stones were sente for black. All of white stones are low, second and third line. Like this is this is a good result for black in today's style of go. Um, I play here. I play sort of the more solid, old-fashioned style. AI says it's still good. <laughs> Some fractional point loss for what it really wants. But um, anyway, look for this Joseki again. This game, it's going to happen again. All right, and then here, uh, white just split, and you can see that's a good move. Um, AI would prefer to shore up the left, but I think splitting is intuitive because, again, black, it looks like black is getting some strength. There is some Aji, though, with this peep. And this stone is far, right? These these two groups are very far. There's a lot of room inside here. Um, so maybe it's not as urgent as it normally would be. But white splits here, and black immediately has a choice, right? Black can essentially extend from the strong group or extend from the weak cornerstone. And I extended from the weak cornerstone, which is totally valid. And according to the AI, this is the best three moves, or three of the best moves, not counting that one. Um, AI says that's the correct direction. You want to push your opponent towards your strength. Um, you don't want to use your strength just to build immediate points territories. This is like classic go lesson. White splits, which side do you push from? Do you push from the weak side or push from the strong side? And even though it seems obvious right now that you want to push from the weak side, that is just one of the most common mistakes for Q Go players and Don players too, for that matter. Like they, this is this is a mistake anyone can get wrong. It'd be hard to evaluate. Um, again, the AI liked a little bit more conservative of a shape, only a two space extension. I was playing a little bit cavalier. <laughs> played three space, still a good move. Um, White played this. We're both sort of ignoring the top left right now. Um, I mean, even if White encloses it, it's so much low stones that. I feel like I can just keep doing things on the other side of the board, and it's really hard for white, hard for white to build. I did play, is it? Yeah, the number two AI move, though, so I'm happy with that, which is to immediately just shoulder hit this and say, look, okay, you can live, but I want something. Like, you're going to live next to my strong group? Okay. Like, please pay for it. And we immediately do this. The AI likes pushing up a little bit better, um, but we play this variation. Uh, this is a... Um, mistake for a couple reasons, but again, it's not the worst mistake in the world. It does mean white will become very solid here, but this is how we get a strong shape for black. Um, I do, it doesn't like this move though. How bad? It says two point loss. It just wants to continue being strong. Uh, and that's reasonable. That's reasonable. The, I think the idea here for just staying strong or the argument for it has to do with the fact that there's this weakness and I can use this weakness two different ways, but I don't need to use it. I, once I use it one way, I can't use it the other way. I think that's that's maybe a way to think about this in human terms. Um, if I, here, let's just give white a move, right? This weakness, this little thing, I can use it this way, right? And just shore up this bottom and uh, help prevent eyes in the bottom for white's group. The other way, the way I'm preserving is to play here and again, threaten this Atari and, and completely seal white in from the outside. But if I do that, I really can't get this free Atari over here. Right, again, if I here play this way, right, you can easily see I don't get this free Atari. Um, but you know, it's possible. It's it's this is this is more of my dream. 
the principle, I'm using the same weakness twice. Like I'm playing two moves that are trying to score it, right? If you're if you're um, trying to put it in some like relatable terms, like I'm trying to score the points for this weakness. Like this is a defect, but because I'm trying to score it twice and I can only actually score it once, it doesn't make any sense to try this. So, in this case, it's better to stay strong. And if White wants to push up, that's fine. Like I just I just stay super strong. So anyway, I think that's that's the best human way I can explain this AI move. Um, here, yeah, it likes this uh, attachment. That seems good. Let's go back to the actual game. White makes these Atari, this continues Atari, which is not good. You're just, I mean, some of those moves are good, but a lot of them you saw the yellow come up. It's basically making white str black stronger for very little benefit for white. And I still have, I can still use this weakness either way. This peep is excellent. Pushes are good. And then here, it says, yeah, good move. The AI likes it. Um, I just, this is the mistake we saw in the quiz. Need to attack from the outside. You can kind of see how um, this looks when I play here. It looks, it looks natural, right? But again, it's giving white two moves on the outside. We don't like that. Okay, anyway. Uh, white makes a base officially over here with the completion of this move. I'll turn and just play this little sequence out. My group is now indestructibly alive. White comes up here, and I play this move that feels huge in the game. It's really not as big as just attacking directly, though. This is almost a five-point loss. All right, White gets to make the base over here. I take, there's this exchange. You haven't seen this yet. Um, when I push and turn here, White's like, no, no, I don't care about this stone. I'm just going to make shape and not die. And again, I play the follow-up here uh, to really just you know, take command. Um, this group is now strong after this Hane. It can potentially connect up here. It can Atari the stone in, in a ladder. It's got tons of liberties. It's it's super strong. There's not anything else to do out here because all white scrape groups are currently safe. Mm. Alright, so white takes another tempo to play up here. White plays old Joseki, which sort of gives me an opportunity to Tanuki. And actually, the, the computer loved my Tanuki. It was like, yes, you found the best move. So I'm pretty happy with that. Finding these little tempo plays right at the right timing is always so hard. And it's a thing that takes a lot of experience to get to know. Here, now I play the last biggest move on the board. And White again plays this Joseki. Um, in this case, White attaches, though. And the AI says here, which is interesting. And in the game, I don't play this because, I don't know, it just doesn't... It feels like giving White a little bit extra strength makes it harder for me to push down. But in reality, I guess it doesn't because there's this cut now exposed. And so I didn't really, I didn't really uh, evaluate that correctly during the game. My thought process was more like, oh, okay, white's going to ignore this stone. Let's just force white, this is the game, uh, to just still have that as a defect. And if white ever comes back and tries to fix that, this looks dumb. <laughs> like this is very over-concentrated for white. And there's actually still some shape problems with either this peep, if I'm strong on the left, or this Hane making a false eye there. Like, both of those make white's shape look dumb. Um, so this stone, this is a very good exchange in this case. All right, can you imagine if... Uh, oh, should they had a better edit tool? Oh, do I have to play this all out? Here, so if instead of that, let me just make some exchanges here. All right, so this is the situation minus this exchange. Can you imagine if black played this, white just played here? That's, that's so feeble. Um, this is called Tewari analysis, by the way, the Japanese word Tewari analysis, where you go back and you take two stones off the board and you basically play them at a different time to see how it, that feels or looks. Like, White has to use this wall. <laughs> like, White has sente moves over here. Like, White's not going to connect this way. If anything, White can, you know, connect that way, and that's so much cooler. Uh, like, that's still connected, so White gets a sente. Uh, whatever it is, <laughs> right? Just, just you, White doesn't have to respond to this directly. Or, you know, white can also continue leaning on the outside and just get so thick that, again, white will just attack this stone on a large scale. So, in the Tawari analysis, um, oops, if black plays here, all right, this is, this is such a lame response. But that's the situation, right? So I'm, 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 in my initial read, like, I'm happy with this. It just turns out that Hane was a little bit better because it leaves the same defect. 
Okay, yep, so I keep crawling here, and at some point white plays... Oh, yeah, white extends again, which is good. Wow, the AI doesn't even want white to extend again. The AI is like, just give up, just, just go over here. <laughs> you gotta get something going. Play very active, interesting. Just ignore all this. White plays honest, and now is my chance to descend. White takes their descent. I take this Hane again. This is very nice to make this kind of shape. Very hard for white to attack this little three stone black group, which is kind of weird to think about. Like, like it becomes really hard to attack it. <laughs> I mean, white can do all this, but again, I still have this, and oh, what's that? Yeah, like white's this white stick is still suffering. So, again, yeah, really hard to attack. And obviously, whoops, if white plays away, there's just this, you know, basically capture or make eyes kind of kind of move. All right, let's go back to, oh, is, I think that's the actual game. Yep, yep, yep. Here, 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 and yeah, white jumps in. I crawl again. I need to crawl one more time to guarantee two eyes. And white, yeah, white should play this. This is a, a an unnecessary defect. White's thinking, look, I can't keep giving black points. If white ends up with a wall here, after I've already sort of command the center with this, and I already have these three stones, you know, mostly safe, like, what is this wall going to be used for? Like, nothing. <laughs> so white's finally, like, had enough. Like, take some points. But this leaves a defect. And so that's the... Can't be doing that. Uh, anyway, this is where the move where I just make shape. That's what it looks like then. Um, the AI says play here. Oh, and AI doesn't even want to connect down here. AI is like, <laughs> gotta use this wall. Oh, we're just gonna do this. Oh, and even wants to cut now. Let's play local and see what this variation looks like. Oh man, does this work? This looks this looks really hard on white. Oh, it's hard on black too, but I guess that ladder works. Hmm. Complicated. This is this is not the simple way. <laughs> All right, there you go. Now black's connected. Black is up two stones. Now black would come back and take a large corner, and white can't descend here because this is cuts. And then this having two stones here actually helps the corner a lot. Makes this move worth nothing. Like in this case, if white already knew black was going to get a wall out here. When black did this little, or white did this little knight's jump into the corner, white should have just jumped in the corner and taken the whole corner. This feels very passive now. Uh, this this totally, this position would totally justify my tanuki when white played here. Um, white did gain a little bit here, but again, it's it's kept in check. Like, I sort of own the center, and I got corner compensation. This is white's corner. Just look at how little white territory has. The, actually, it's not even clear that white has more territory on the left than I do. <laughs> because of this, uh, this cut or clamp. Like, if we're not counting this is we're counting this as part of the center, like, I black definitely has more points than white on the left. So, okay, let's go all the way back. Yep, you can just sort of see, you know, and, and you know, this, all, that, all that aside, let's see what actually happens when white plays here. Black just plays there. Oh, and then white makes a shape move. Okay, and apparently AI thinks this is alive. Is it alive? Yeah, it must be, because this is Sente. Yeah. This is Sente for black. For for eye space, that is, so... Black is always fine. Um, what if... Oh, yeah, there's a cut here. That doesn't do anything. That does nothing. This is... That's it. <laughs> oh, white gets another half... Some, fra you know, point of endgame. Um, of course, black can capture this back. So this isn't, like, even really a full point, necessarily. All right, all right, that was too much too long of an excursion for that little detail. Okay, in the game, white plays here, which is very exciting. The AI says, not the best, but hey, not the worst either. And in the game, I play here. Nope, no, I don't. Okay, what do I play? Oh, I, no, no, I, this, is, this is my timing to take this. Yeah, the AI likes this. Take the peep. And then because I have this peep exchange, I feel like I can play further away now. AI says, no, I have to keep it kind of close, um, which is fine. Yeah, but AI really doesn't like this This very crude, let's make our stones heavier and make our opponents stronger kind of sequence for white. White takes this, that's reasonable. Oh, but here. Oh, it says my move. This is my move to basically surround these two stones. Um, but it says AI likes this move. 
that's weird. I mean, it, like, visually, it totally makes sense, right? Look at all the black in the center. Look at these two white stones and how they have no friends. See this white stone, how it has no friends. This white stone can get friends, but it takes a lot of work. Same for these two. Um, this is totally center dominant by black. So it's a beautiful shape, but oh man, this is a weird combination. Have a nice jump with a two space jump. That's a weird shape. I would not normally look to play this. I would much more readily play something like this where black kind of leans on white to get strength. Hmm. White's just going to take more, keep taking points. All right. I mean, that's reasonable <laughs> at this point. All right. Anyway, I play this and oh yeah, look at the we got some we got some unhappy faces. Um <laughs> They're unhappy because I play 93 and not this connection. We already talked about this a little bit. All right. And we're going to take this, and here's your oh, driving Tasuji. That's the word. It's the driving Tasuji. White is going to drive the stone to the left and poke out in the right in good tempo. All right. So here, oh, yeah, look, we got more highly, we got happy faces this time. After white plays here, White has enough liberties to start some bigger fights. I think that's why we're getting the happy faces here, is now white can run these out and effectively fight, throw this into chaos. Um, just because I'll, I still have to manage this group a little bit. I'll definitely have to manage this top group, and I'll definitely have to manage the stick. And I've got three things to manage, so I'll be very busy. Yeah, that's why he doesn't like this move. Although it doesn't look, the, the next AI move isn't to take advantage. The next AI is to play moves over here. Let's see, if we play the AI sequence, what does it want to do next? Capture? Okay, now it runs it out. Huh. Interesting. All right, so how, I want to counterattack over here. What's the move to counterattack? Is it... Is it this, I just die, right? If I play here? I go move? Oh, it's just going to build the, the right-hand side first. Oh. All right, either way, this was running these two out was not on my radar. I didn't think my opponent would do it at all. It just didn't feel like their style. It didn't feel right. Um, we play this way. He disconnects. This move was real bad, right? Like, there's obviously a peep here that I'm going to use to make sure these three stones are strong. For black to play, or for white to play it directly feels so bad. <laughs> Let's just poke out the eye space. That's good. I like that idea. And take a poke, take a poke, take all the free stuff, and live. Cool. And this this white group is still not dead. Like, again, there's this half stick over here and this half stick over here that white can attack. So I think white's fine. It just takes a lot of work at this point. Um, but again, white has these, still has these two stones to run out. So it actually says even game. Right? White's like almost exactly even. Yeah, which is right there. That's the moment we left off. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is this is a this is sort of the crux of the game, but it's real hard to to learn from this type of situation. How do we learn from this, gang? What is the lesson? Like, how did we lose all this this pretty large advantage? I guess only twelve twelve. It comes down from about yeah twelve fifteen points at its peak. We have a nineteen point peak. All right. Well, to that point, <laughs> I guess we get. Yeah, we <laughs> should have defended there. It was just, I just didn't attack this well at all. Like, like this little by little, I just let it continue to get stronger. Um, and leaving that Aji on the table really doesn't help. All right. So then, I guess the question is, how do we get all this back? How do we get our advantage back? Because even though the game's even, obviously my opponent is not on top of it. <laughs> I play the nice AI move here. White defends with that. Actually, this is the preferred AI defense. That's a cool move. Does this really work, though? This feels so loose. It's not... It's not really... Where's the... Where's the... Uh, the move to punish? Like, if I just cut right now... Oh, yeah, I guess that totally just nets everything. All right. So that's... that's that. This totally defends the cut. That's cool. What about the clamp? <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't defend the clamp, of course, but 
This is still a cool way to defend this cut. Very nice. All right, anyway, my opponent played here. I played this move. The AA didn't like this move. The AA, oh, the AA still just wants me to kill this Aji. This is, this is where white can actually make a lot of progress and gain um, and have momentum. So I guess that makes sense. All right, through here though, I play this move, so let's just connect, and that's, that's totally accurate, right? Just don't give my opponent more free moves. <clears throat> this is already connected and strong, basically. Oh, that's not the right, where's the, let's get on the game. Oh yeah. Okay, back to the game. White makes this exchange, which is sad, but kind of helps. Again, white, we may, white lives, but it, it comes at a price, right? Black is now real solid. It feels like I have to manage these two stones less and less after this whole sequence, right? Now these two stones aren't really going to run out ever. So if you're looking at this and feeling like, oh, white lived, black got nothing. Well, I basically have a more secure center. I have the thing I always had. <laughs> I didn't really lose a lot either. So again, if you can actually see the score, right, from this around this point to around this point, like nothing happened. I mean, something obviously happened because white tied the game and then I untied it. But in terms of like the total game evaluation, everything is sort of going according to plan, I guess, from, you know, like, you know, 30 moves earlier. All right, here, white's not, or AI is not in love with the this move. It wants me to clamp now. Interesting. Is this a good Aji move? Oh, it wants me to use this Aji. Yeah, use it. Yeah, I saw this exchange. And then here? Where is this going? This looks awesome. Like what what are we how are we going to unite all these things? Or just get out? Hmm. This looks simple. This looks hard. If, if let's let's assume my opponent plays a simple one. How does this look? And now it's like but the AI is just playing endgame. Like, AI is like, yeah, screw all this. This is just endgame. All right, if we make all those exchanges that really weren't, like, they're so small. Like, that's, this, is, this is another level of timing, right, where the AI wants to do all this sort of endgame stuff right now without seemingly, like, a really great reason. It still wants to play more endgame right now. Uh, all right, here's the question. If I play this one, so right now, right now it says black's ahead by 16 if I play this one. Let's see how much that goes down. 0.7, so it still likes this move. Oh, no, more than that. 1.7, okay, all right. I believe you. I believe you, little robot. All right, let's go back to game. So I play all this, and this, this felt great for black. Like, not gonna lie, like, I have all this thickness, and putting a black group right in here and just sort of mucking up all this ruck or rucking up all this muck, like, this feels pretty good. <laughs> White's just, everybody's making really bad exchanges. You can see the, the, um, the mistake meters over here for white are starting to get a little crazy. White's panicking a little bit. Like, this was, I, I bet this was probably way more psychologically stressful for him than it was for me. <laughs> I'm playing sloppy too, right? You can see the, the frequency on my mistakes kind of go up at the end. But still, it's not bad. I play here. Okay, and then the, we actually saw a lot of this already in the, the review with those mistakes because um, it was detecting so many of them. Oh, yeah, interesting. Yeah, with this move, it says it's very unhappy with these three stones. <laughs> yeah, and I played the AI move to just seal it in. And then here, yep, I totally played there. It says this is a mistake. This is my mistake. All right, so who's made the bigger mistake? It says this is a 10.3 point loss. This is a 5 point loss. So, all right, I'm fine with that. If, we, if he makes a 10 point loss. Um, oh, yeah, it just wants me to kill immediately. It's just like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, what are you doing over here? <laughs> Interesting. I'm playing this killing move to kill the corner. Makes these stones happy and these stones sad. Well, yeah, that's how that works. All right, and it says, yeah, this is a blunder. It's like, who cares? Why? It wants me to take this Atari now? Why? Oh, is it, it's going to force a capturing race. Cool. All right, this will be exciting. 
Yeah, Atari. Have to play here, yes. Connect. Oh man. It what what? <laughs> is it just am I just dead here now? If I is this saying you're dead? I can't win the capturing race? That might be true. That might be true. So saying play here. Oh, but also it says black up by sixty. So I must I must win the capturing race in the corner. This has to, like to get a sixty point win like has to this has to die. Uh, okay. Anyway, play here. Yeah, that's a big loss. Should just kill. Again, this keeps the everything connected like I'm but like white has no territory, <laughs> right? Like uh, granted black doesn't have much either. <laughs> um but oh man, there there's like so little for white. That it just feels like having one large corner for black is big enough to win. Um obviously you know, white just resigned because white doesn't have time to play over here and play over here and win this co and still make points. Like white is just way too busy. So yeah, um, that I think concludes this, this, uh, real game review and quiz. Uh, yeah, that was just the resign. Um, so in the end, yeah, it's like, <sighs> If, every, if white makes everything live... Here, let's do a quick count. Let's assume I get this endgame, so there's no points there. I can... At worst case scenario, right, basically take away these points. One, two, three, four, five. So white has arguably about somewhere between 12 and 13 points here. Um, there's some endgame here. Let's... If we assume white gets five, that's... This is, this is Sente for kind of everyone, so I don't know who it's... It's probably more sente for black, actually. Uh, say 20, 25, something, like 2, 27, 5, 32, maybe... Oh, man, there's, like, so little points here, too. This is undercut this way, and there's a peep. Oh, God, this is this is also terrible for white. I mean, with Comey, white is... White is... Is it 40 points? Like, can I even give white that much? 10, 15... 20, 25, 27, 29, like, I think it's 35 points on the board for white. That's real, it's real bad. <laughs> and Grand Black has, you know, four here, five here, two here, like, all these are real small, maybe two here. Uh, what does that make? Less than 15. Um, but the fact that I have a 20-point corner... <laughs> This is, this is like, that's enough. I mean, if, if, if that went entirely that way, of course, it'd be a two-point win, but still. Um, why would be so busy fixing all this endgame? I'm, I'm fully confident we could find an extra point somewhere to win. Probably even just playing, you know, here or here. I don't know, wherever. Doesn't matter. Uh, it's a good game. I'm, I'm hoping to, to play a little bit more Go these days. I've been really busy teaching at the college... And, uh, yeah, so, anyway, hoping hoping to play more Go, hoping you guys are getting to play a lot of Go. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you're still watching, you know, thank you for making it this far. You're a trooper. Some, sometimes these game reviews can get way too deep into the banal and minutia. Uh, I know so many of you really come to this channel specifically because I often try to focus on some of the big concepts and teach a lot more in terms of heuristics. And sometimes these game reviews don't, Aren't, aren't the richest for that sort of thing. Uh, because, again, they do get bogged down with this, these little AI minutiae and shape points. But, again, to play Go, that's kind of the level of Go that needs to be played if you want to improve. Like, you like one line of difference or one, you know, one tempo, one move away. Uh, that's, that's kind of what it takes. So, yeah, I mean, that's what makes Go hard and amazing. Anyway, thanks for watching. Happy going.